Hey everybody, this is Stephen Baxley with Airworks Unmanned Solutions. Today we're going to introduce you to the Airworks Go Command OG kit. We're going to walk through a wired and wireless connectivity from the Live Deck, so a wired connection from the Autel Live Deck, a wireless connection from the new Autel Smart Controller, as well as a wireless connection from the Enterprise and the standard Smart Controller from DJI. Stay tuned. Come on over and we're going to take a look at the Airworks Go Command kit. So this is just a basically a blank kit and we've got a combination of the new Altel Smart Controller. We've got a combination of the uh, DJI Alt, uh, Smart Controller standard and then of course the Enterprise Smart Controller is basically the same uh, operation. This just has the other component on the bottom. And then we also have the Altel Evo Live Deck. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you in the Go Command Kit how to set up the Go Command Kit and either get these things tethered up to display on the screen wirelessly or wired. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our 60,000 uh, milliamp portable power supply and we're going to get that connected real quick. Over on the left of your Go Command, you'll see a USB connectivity. This is for your wireless screen casting module. To the right side, this is your power, your AC power for the monitor itself. On your Airworks uh, Go Command power supply, on one side you have a DC power input. If you'll press that button, you'll see you have DC output and a uh, display here showing you that it's full, USB connectivity. On the other side, you have AC. We're gonna flip this red switch on, and you'll notice on this side, AC output is now registered as well. Simply plug this in. Each side, our monitor comes on. Usually it comes on automatically. And then we also plug into the USB DC side. Now we have wireless screen casting. The mirror screen app will come up and it shows you the SSID and all this information. What we're going to do is I'm first going to walk you through the Autel Evo Live Deck. So most of you guys know what the Live Deck is. The Live Deck is going to be a tethered option. So here you would use just an HDMI just for portability. I'm going to leave the antennas down. We've got a cord cord HDMI cable here with a right angle right up under you come over real close you'll see right up under here is a HDMI switch we're just gonna plug it in to port 2 once we plug that in right in the center there's a button we're gonna press that button it goes to port 2 the screen goes black because it's actually waiting on the input from the HDMI uh, from the live deck so we plug that in the live decks already on and I've also have a uh, aircraft right behind the case here which is kind of pointed to the wall with our chair so you see it automatically comes up and it's showing us that display so that's very easy. We can leave that connected, not a big deal. We're just gonna flip back this switch right in the center of the uh, HDMI switch here. We're gonna press that button. We're gonna flip this right back over to our wireless screencast, which is in port one. So from there, I'm gonna show you how to very easily and quickly connect both the two smart controllers from the two different manufacturers. First and foremost, the Autel. So this is the Autel smart controller. So we're simply gonna swipe up here then we're going to go into our tablet setting. So when you swipe down a little bit, you'll get your tablet settings. Go into our main screen here on our tablet. We tap settings. We scroll down to display. On display, you will see cast at the very bottom. Select cast. And then we're going to see a wireless display come up. This is uh, 5F2. 5F2 come up. And then momentarily, you'll see it connect up and show here, and it will duplicate the screen. Here we go. All right, now we are wirelessly casting from the smart controller right to our monitor in the Go Command case. This works the same way in the DJI product because it's Android based, it has a casting feature, but we'll walk you through that really quick. There may be some interference here and you'll see interference in your systems if you have a lot of Wi-Fi going on. We do have a lot of Wi-Fi here in the building. We also have several components kind of connected or trying to connect at the same time. So that's that. Let's disconnect really quick so we can show you how to do this from the DJI smart controller. So simply go back to cast. We're got to do this in order to um, connect it up. Cast. And we're just going to disconnect really quickly. We're disconnected. Now in the DJI Smart Controller, same thing. We're going to drag down and get our tablet settings open. Go to Settings, Display, Cast. is a little further up the screen than on the Altel. 
usually whatever is closest to you is going to pop up. So we've got several, because this is one of our demo units, we've got several of these screencast uh, uh, devices showing up. But we're going to choose this one at the top. We're going to tap it. It says connecting. And then you'll notice momentarily it's going to pop up. I know it's working because I can see it connected right over here. And then we are now wirelessly casting from the DJI Smart Controller. Works the same way on the Smart Controller Enterprise for the M300. And this is it. It's very simple, very easy to cast to here. Usually, um, if, as long as you don't have any kind of interference or strong signals from other Wi-Fi components, you can usually get 15 to 20 feet away from this case, line of sight, and you will have really good connectivity. So, as always, if you got any questions or any issues, let us know here at Airworks. We're glad to help you, and uh, we look forward to talking to you soon.